We're starting out with a half stick of melted butter and we're gonna put in a half cup of regular sugar. I'm only doing a half recipe and I'm using my chocolate pie recipe in the first cookbook, but I'm having to half the ingredients. So I'm gonna use three tablespoons of cocoa. And this is pretty much my brownie chocolate pie. We're just doing a half recipe because we just want it to be half the layer in the very bottom of the pie. It's gonna be really good. All right, we're gonna put in an egg. A couple of tablespoons of self-rising flour. All right, we're going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. So you've got sugar, you've got flour, you've got cocoa, you've got your butter, your egg, your salt, vanilla. The only thing we don't have is salt. You should always go through every ingredient to make sure you didn't miss something before you put it in your pie shell or whatever you're making. All right, when you put in a pie crust, I had somebody do this the other day. She put it in like this so she would have more room on the outside to make it pretty instead of flattening it against the pie plate. You've got to flatten it against the pie plate. If you don't, when it warms up, it will just draw up and just split all the pieces on the bottom. So just try to get it in there even. Make sure it's against the sides. You know what, Pillsbury pie crusts do not have as much pie crust to make the edge pretty as your um, grocery store brands do. So, especially Walmarts. So if you got a choice, get the brand store brand because they wanna go wimpy on how much they put in it. It's hard to make the edge pretty on a Pillsbury. I did um, a taste test one time on the different pie crusts that are refrigerated. Walmarts was actually the flakiest. All right, we're gonna put half this, I mean all of this in the bottom of the pie. It's the first layer for the pie. And then we're gonna put cake batter on top of this and bake it. So this is going in. Then we're gonna mix up our cake batter and put it on top of this. All right, up next, cake batter. And you gotta get a bite too. Mm. The chocolate pie recipe is in the first cookbook and this apple skillet cake is in the second cookbook and it has uh, the most delicious cake layer. So we're gonna do a half recipe of that to go in this pie. So we're gonna be using a quarter cup of shortening. You'll always start out with your shortening and sugar when you mix up a cake. Shortening. Actually, it's a half cup of regular sugar and a quarter cup of brown sugar for half the recipe. I'm not packing it, so I'm just gonna let it be heaping. Because every time I pack it, then I gotta go rinse off my hands. I want to today. So we got in our shortening, our sugars. We're gonna be using one egg. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this together. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the egg in, it's not gonna hurt. No, let's mix the short and the sugar together because that's what you're supposed to do. Now we'll add our egg. We're gonna put in a little bit of vanilla. Three quarter cup of flour. So three of these. We got a lot of flour in our pot, but we'll be using plenty today. Wait more. 
Now it'll be cake batter. Now, it may not take all of this cake batter. I just want a thin layer of cake in here. So, I'm just gonna make it about that thick, about a half inch thick, okay? Because it's gonna rise a little bit too, remember that. So what you'll do is you'll put it in till it comes to about right there, and that way it'll rise, and then your coconut topping will go on top of that. It'll be really, really good. And remember, when you're making stuff for the holidays, these icings will stay in your refrigerator and stay good for quite a while. So I had made you guys the um, German chocolate cake and saved the icing, and then I had made um, a birthday cake and had some extra chocolate icing, and I kept them in the refrigerator for about three weeks, and they're fine to use. So... If you have any left, make sure you save them and make something out of them later. So that's gonna be really good and you get to eat some cake batter if you don't mind eating some raw eggs and we sure don't mind. I love this cake is so moist and fluffy y'all because of the brown sugar. It's probably the best cake layer I have. A recipe that is. All right, this is gonna go in the oven and cook for about 35 minutes. You can see this beautiful pie has risen and it looks really good. There's only a minute left on the clock. It's still a little bit shaky, so it's not done, but I'm gonna try my best to scoot it over because I wanna put my sweet potato souffle in the oven at the same time. And hopefully, I won't jinx it too much. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's get this in there, y'all. It's Thanksgiving. We gotta get to cooking. I might have to put another level rack in here before the day's over. All right, we're gonna get this cake out. This pie cake. Georgie Porgy. Nice and golden brown. But you wanna make sure that it's nice and golden brown because you wanna make sure that Cake is done and it's not jiggly anymore. That's gonna be a good pie, y'all. Now I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit before I put the icing on there. It's time to top the Georgie Porgy pie. So I took the icing that I had left over and I heated it up in the microwave so it'll be good and spreadable. And the coconut frosting goes on first. So if you made a German chocolate cake, um, you may have enough icing to make you a Georgie Porgy pie. I did. How long will it stay good in the refrigerator? Whenever you save icing, it'll stay good in the refrigerator a good month. So um, don't throw it out. Just put it in something and use it for cupcakes or on a pie or, you know, just something. I want to get rid of this good stuff. It's really good. Okay, so just kind of make it look pretty on the top. And now we're going to mix up this chocolate icing. And with the chocolate icing, you want it to look drizzled almost, or like dollops of icing. So this is how you do it. So you definitely want to heat it up. I worked at a bakery when I was in high school in Cartersville. It was called Agin's Bakery, and they made these Georgie Porgy pies, and they made everything from scratch, and I honestly have not had one of these since I was in my early 20s, and I am 51, so I will enjoy this Thanksgiving pie, and that's really all you need. Is it not beautiful and delicious looking?
Now that's a pie. A cake pie. In one. Okay, we're going to cut this pie, and it is still a little warm. I have not let it cool completely to room temperature, but we're going to give it a try. I want y'all to see how pretty it looks. It just fell apart. It's still warm, but it's got the chocolate on the bottom, the cake. Boy, is it good. Fudge. Mmm, that's a German chocolate pie cake. <laughs> no, it's a German chocolate cake pie. Ain't it? I'm gonna let Chris taste it because this is a new one. For him, he's never had one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be busy. That's really good, ain't it? <laughs> you know why we sold a lot of them at I'm the bakery. Be busy eating this. Ooh, that's a good pie. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook. Good food, like Mama did. Bye, I love ya.